the solution of this mathematical expression is 1. What if I make it more complex as like as this form? This is a strange mathematical expression. Hmm, I have never seen this type of math problem before. It's exclusively new structure of mathematics. Question is, how can we solve this? There is no hints, no clue, but I found the answer of this strange expression of mathematics. Hello, hello, hello all genius people. Welcome back again in Matissim, the absolute place for twisting the tale of science. If you are new in my channel, I request you to hit the subscribe button. It will inspire me a lot to make more quality full content. Before that, first let's solve this strange math problem. This structure has many 1 plus 1 plus 1. <laughs> it looks so complex, but it's not really complex. <laughs> it's very easy to solve. At first, we have to find the starting point from where we can start. Carefully look at this structure. You can find two inverted triangle here. One is over here and another one is this one. And they are stacking to each other. The interface of these two triangle is our starting point and we can start from here. This interface line is our starting point. Look at here carefully. Above this interface line, this is nominator and below this interface line, this is denominator. Now the problem is a little bit easier, right? We found nominator and denominator. Now we can solve it. But it's really, really easy if you uh, subdivided this part and that part in this, into a small, small calculation. So let's go directly to the calculation. What we can do at first, we have to identify all short bars and evaluate them from top to bottom and from bottom to top. And we have to repeat it step by step until we complete the whole process. To do that, at first we have to calculate this result of this addition. This is the starting point. I would like to say this bar uh, make the separation between nominator and denominator. So result of this part is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 over 4 over 3 over 2 over 1. Similarly, if you look at this <coughs> triangle, bottom triangle, you can fi uh, find 5, then 4, then 3, 2, and 1. Now, we have to first uh, consider this upper part. If we consider this one, this is 1 over 2 and then lower part, this is 2 over 1. So this is nominator and denominator. If we get it, it will be 1 over 2 and then we have to consider this 3 part, 1, 2, 3. What will happen? Let's forget this bottom part. We'll write exactly same thing, 5 over 4. And then if we calculate 1 over 2 divided by 3, it will be 1 over 6. How it is 1 over 6? Let's calculate here. 1 over 2 over 3. Let's consider 1 over 2 is this one is nominator and 3 is denominator. There is another denominator here that is 1. So if we calculate this one, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 3. A result is 1 over 6. This is the result of this third bracket part, 1 over 6, I would like to say. So this is 1 over 6 over 4 over 5. And then the bottom line triangle is 5, then 4. And look at here, 2 over 1 is equal to 2, and then 3, 3 over 2. So as I told you before that, we have to calculate from top to bottom and then bottom to top. And this is 
single one part and this is single another part. Now in this case we have to consider 1 over 6 is nominator and 4 is denominator. Only this part will calculate and in this case 4 is nominator and 3 over 2 is do, de, denominator. So what's happened in the upper part 1 over 6 over which is divided by 4 that means 1 over 24 you can calculate according to this way and then another one is 5 look at here 1 over 6 divided by 4 is equals to 1 over 24 and then 5 5 is remaining same which is divided by 5 over if you consider 4 is nominator and 3 over 2 is denominator in this case it will be 8 over 3 at the same way we have to consider 1 over 24 is nominator and 5 is denominator in this case if we consider only this calculation it will be 1 over 120 divided by this part will be uh, 15 over 3 and now we have to consider this whole part look at here i am starting from this part to that part i am going from top to bottom and bottom to top calculation and now it looks like easy and catchable we can catch this result if we finally do this result it will be sorry it will be from here to here actually 1 over 120 this one times 3 over it will flip just opposite way 3 over 15 right if we el eliminate this one this one it will be 1 and this is I think uh, 40 so remaining is 1 over 40 times 15 which is equals to 1 over 600 look at here this 1 over 600 is our result I want to give you a simple message from this strange problem look at here this problem is really really exclusively new I never faced this problem as I told you before now but I solved the solution I tried it and I found it I, I want to give you a really good message whatever is the problem in your life personal life or professional life whatever is the problem believe me there is a solution always try to solve the problem and you will find a good solution maybe some problem has very complex solution and some problem has very easy solution but whatever is the problem there is a solution you believe it i want to give this message from this video this is the ethical part of this video okay actually this is um, not real math uh, this math i have seen in one of my blogs i mean one of the blogs in the internet and i try to find the solution and i find the solution like this way maybe you can find the different different solution i don't know maybe you are creative <laughs> more creative than me uh, you can try to find a solution and if i did some mistake in this video please uh, you can mention it in the comment section thank you thank you so much for uh, uh, watching this video and uh, i'm making this type of uh, strange strange uh, content in this channel several times like before now i show you 2 plus 2 equals 5 it is one of the viral one it gets viral it's almost near to 1 million view at this moment and again i <laughs> proof 1 plus 1 equals 0 this is one of the another viral uh, video look these two videos the link is given in the description and finally i would like to say thank you so much for watching it and uh, have a look other interesting math videos in my channel thank you so much see you next time bye bye